angry guy here. And today I'm going to be discussing why you're doing NoFap wrong and how to fix it when integrating in no PMO. Because a lot of guys are having this problem and they don't really understand what it truly means to do no fab. So this is where things get interesting. We're discussing why you're doing no fab wrong and how to fix it, okay, in relation to no PMO. And that basically stands for no pornography, no masturbation, no orgasm. Now, many of you are probably thinking that I'm going to start preaching to you in a little bit and lecturing you on how to be a no fat purist. That's absolutely incorrect. I've seen videos on YouTube discussing this, discussing all the things you need to do with no fat. I've seen uh, on the forums, this people discussing literally like, okay, you're going to need to do this no fat for this long, probably. And you know, some people have, there are people who've been on no fat for like, I, I still hard to believe like, like two, like a year, two years, three years where they have literally some of these guys evidently have had not had sex they have not masturbated and they have um they have not watched porn they haven't experienced an orgasm in like two to three years okay i'm gonna tell you something right now if the problem with this is that they are doing it wrong at that point you're gonna say wait a minute how can they be doing it wrong <sighs> well first off let's look at the original purpose of no fat okay uh, shout out to doctor let's look at the purpose of no fat a lot of guys and women struggle with addictions to masturbation and pornography because it's something that we are bombarded with today. However, and I, I mean this when I say this, the purpose of no fat is about reestablishing relationships and helping to reconnect with yourself. So it's about reconnecting with yourself and also about reconnecting with others. No fat is not celibacy just to be and let me make this clear if the, the guys who are doing no fat for two to three years they should be calling themselves celibate they should be saying okay well then i'm making an active decision to go to become a cel to to practice celibacy but don't but what they're doing or so it appears is they're doing no fat for years and believing that they're gaining some kind of superpower, okay? Or somehow this is going to fix their problem. Like they, I abstained from all of this for three to four years, two to three years. So now, now I'm going to be perfect and I'm not gonna have this problem anymore. And here's the funny thing, three to four years and all that's, Everything that they've done over that period of time destroyed. You know why? So you weren't having, if you weren't having sex for three to four years, it's very likely that you weren't in a relationship for three to four years. If you were in a relationship for three to four years, then that basically means that you spent three to four years in almost isolation. The more time you spend by yourself, the more time you spend not connecting with others, the harder it becomes to reconnect later on. All right? So these guys who are doing no FAP and no PMO, they are basic, they haven't solved their problem. They basically just, it's like transference. They've basically taken their problem and they're now using, using uh, something else to mitigate it. For example, it's like, uh, it's like going from overeating to using, uh, to using opioids, all right? 
it's like, you know, you have anxiety. So some people overeat and then it's like going from overeating to using using opioids. That's not that's not any better, okay? And it becomes a compulsive thing. When as men, here's the here's the thing. As men and and this happens for women as well. We are human beings. We are sexual beings. We do need we need physical contact. I'm vi listen to me. And those those who don't like what I'm saying, feel free to downvote this video as much as you want to. Okay? But listen to me very carefully. If you take someone and put them in solitary confinement, they start to go mad. And courts have been talking about this for years that this very well borders is very well may be the definition of cruel and unusual punishment. Isolation is damaging to the human psyche. Pornography and masturbation create a big problem and I'm going to tell you the reasons why. With porn, with pornography, you're getting an overstimulation and a lot of guys who are addicted to pornography can attest to this where you can be with the most beautiful person, you can be with the most beautiful, most wonderful woman in the entire world. I mean, she can be everything you've ever wanted and you will still, she will never make you feel as aroused or as turned on as when you're looking at porn. And it happens because of the way your brain becomes, because you've looked at porns for so many years that you've disconnected with reality. I'm being so honest. You've disconnected with reality and you've disconnected with your humanity, a, part, a very important part of yourself. What happens when you look at porn and masturbate is your brain then goes on to release dopamines. Here's the big problem. When you have sex, when you when two people have sex and supposedly they at least like each other, and even then, just the act of having sex with another person typically causes your brain to release dopamine and oxytocin. The reason why that's important is oxy is what we call the bonding hormone. Monk, monk psychology just dropped five bucks. Thank you so much. Let me. Let me read your comment. I'm gonna. Oh boy, gosh. Monk psychology just dropped five bucks. I really appreciate that. Let me see. He says, "I used to be attract. I used to be attracted, and now I reversed it with no. I used to be a trans attract. Okay, so you used to have an attraction to trans, and he said I reversed it with no fab. We got to do a show about it. Angry. I'm not ashamed of my past. No, you should. Don't be ashamed of who you are." Don't ever be ashamed of who you are. The fact that you've made the change is important. Let me tell you something about porn. It screws up your brain and it causes you to fall into, you start having the most devious and twisted thoughts. I am telling you. And then you start to one up yourself more and more and more. It's like your brain just wants to keep one upping itself and it becomes more and more depraved. When you have a healthy sexual relationship with another human being, your brain releases dopamines, but it also releases oxytocin, which is the bonding hormone. All right. And that helps you to relax. It affects what we call your parasympathetic nervous system. And it has a number of really good benefits on your body. However, when you are just masturbating and having a quick rush of dopamines, did, many of you probably don't know this, but your body has to quickly discard, your brain has to quickly discard of dopamines. Because if you have a buildup of dopamines for too long within your brain, you will start to basically go crazy. You'll start to experience not only fatigue, fog, but you'll, you'll have trouble thinking clearly. Okay. So when guys who are addicted, when guys are addicted to masturbation, to pornography, they're having, they're getting constant dopamine rushes. All right. And the thing is too much of that starts to burn your brain out just like any other drug. Okay. But 
you, but but at the same time, your parasympathetic nervous system constantly feels like it's in a state of uh, in a state of um, of flight. Okay, it's like in a constant state of flight because you're not relaxing. You're not relaxing because you, you your brain does not release the bonding hormone. So you're getting all this drug, dopamine, which is basically like you're taking any other drug, but you're not getting, but you're, but you're not, um, but you're not getting oxy. People are doing nofap wrong because they are listening to others who are telling them the right way to do it. And I want you to understand there is no one right way to do nofap. I want you to understand that there is no one single right way to do no fab. Let's say you decide to do what they call the 90 day challenge. And during those 90 days, you know, you abstain from porn, masturbation and orgasms. And let's say the first week goes well. Second week goes well, third week goes well, and then suddenly you meet a really nice person. You meet this really lovely lady, really nice lady, and you begin talking, and you begin hanging out, and it gets to the point where you can feel a connection with her. She feels a connection with you, and the two of you want to engage in sexual activity. And there are a lot of people in NoFap that will say, nope, you got to let her know if she, you got to let her know, just be honest with her and tell her you have an addiction and you know, you're what you're doing and you know, she's just going to have to wait or, you know, somebody else will come along. The whole point of NoFap is to reestablish relationships, healthy relationships with others. So to say that, okay, well, you shouldn't have sex because you're doing the no fat challenge. You're completely losing the entire point of all of this. Here you are getting everything you wanted, right? Having a healthy relationship, but you're push, pu push, pushing that aside because you're believing in literally this concept. You know, no fat is something that some guy just came up with and it is helpful. It is very, very beneficial. But you have to understand that the core of it is developing healthy sexual relationships with a partner. All right. A number of you guys are going to say, well, and I, again, this is not a video, you know, telling you to go get married or I'm just talking about I'm just being making it very clear that for human beings, sex is very important for both men and women. And I will say this. A lot of men think that there's a lot of guys who think that they can live without sex. All right. You think you can live without sex. And, you know, some of those guys, they masturbate and they're like, I don't need sex. So they masturbate and they think that, oh, that means that they're living without sex. No, you're not. You're using masturbation. Okay. You're using masturbation and you're not getting the positive aspects of sex. You're getting only the, you're getting only the dopamine rush. So no, you've been proven wrong. Then you have the guys who end up becoming obsessed with no fap. And that ends up just being, like I said, a form of transparency because they're moving. They're basically taking their issues from one place to another and believing that this is going to somehow solve their problem. And when you don't have sex for very, very long periods of time, it does something to your brain. If you don't have sex and you don't masturbate for a very long period of time, I am telling you right now, it affects you mentally and it affects you socially. All right. It affects you mentally, it affects you socially, it affects you physically, okay? So NoFap has nothing to do with not having sex, with not having healthy relationships. Let me, let me read what Monk Psychology just said. He just dropped another two bucks. Thank you, Monk. Monk says, I'm asexual, I'm an asexual 31-year-old virgin and I'm angelic, and I'm an angelic nerd. Laugh out loud. 
Okay. Well, and I mean, again, so if it's your choice to be remain celibate at this moment, monk, then that's fine. But know that it's celibacy. It's celibacy. Okay. You're true. You said asexual. So you're choosing to be asexual and that's great. But these people that are like, oh, I'm going to do no fap and it's just going to become my lifestyle. Like no fap's a lifestyle, bro. No, it's not. No fap is a means of helping you to rebuild, to, 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 to start developing healthy relationships again, to, to uh, get away from the, the constant cycle of using porn and masturbation to make up for something else that's missing in your life. Okay? Whatever that may be. So, one of the worst things you could do is become a no-fat purist. I'm just being very, very honest with you. One of the very worst things you can do is become a no-fat purist. All right? And you shouldn't be listening to these people who are like, oh, you got to do this many days. And oh, for, for example, there are people who tell you that something like you'll need to do like five years. If you started masturbating at the age of 13 and you're like 50 or 60 now, you're going to need to do like, well, there's like a calculation some of them use. Oh, so you're going to have to do this for like five to 10 years. Like no sex, no porn, no masturbation, no sex, no orgasms for like five to 10 years. If you really want to complete, if you really want to deal with this, I'm thinking to myself, if you're like 50 and you, you get this thing like, oh, five to 10 years, you know, or even two to three years, you know, you don't, you don't, you, you just don't really have that kind of time, right? And you're just going to what, sit, and you're supposed to sit around and wait for this thing to fix your problems and fix your life. And then, then after you complete it, then you can go and, and try to develop a relationship and you're not going, you're going to be a completely different person. You're not going to be the person who you were before because it's going to make you, a, it's going to make you like, it's like magic. That's nonsense. No fat can facilitate change, but it doesn't, it does not necessarily cause change. All right. It gives you the opportunity to see things differently and to pursue things differently, but you have to make the ultimate choice. If that's something that you want, I'm just going to be very, very clear with you. All right. And if you go into no fat, using no fat, like as a means of trying to escape or deflect what's going on inside because if you a lot of guys have pain a lot of men and women today we have a lot of pain and a lot of that is what we call psychosexual in psychology all right and that pain it affects us so deeply and we start looking for answers. Some of us, we, we, look, we look to psychologists and psychiatrists. We look to medication. We look all over the place. We look to these things like no fap, okay? But the truth is that we're not looking at the core issue that we need to deal with that's affecting us inside. If you have something going on, if you have something hurting you, if you have childhood trauma, Okay, no fab can help to bring those emotions out because what you'll start to feel it after give it a week or so, those emotions will start to come to the surface because a lot of people use masturbation and porn to try to not think about the horrible things that happened in their childhood or the horrible things that happened when they were when they were overseas, when they were deployed overseas. They use it as a means of escapism and they don't realize that it's the exact same thing. Like it's it's just like how heroin addicts you know, a lot of soldiers, they come back and they use heroin to try to forget. People don't even, these guys don't even realize that they're using porn and masturbation to forget, to avoid what's really hurting them, what's really bothering them, okay? But you can't do that. You have to look, you have to be honest with yourself and you need to confront your issues, okay? This whole thing like, oh, I was doing no fap and I screwed up and and now, I, I, now I'm, 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 I'm totally screwed. No. Why did you screw up? Why did you why did you uh, why did you fap again? Because I was and you had and that's and that's the perfect peer point. Why did it happen? Because you were anxious. OK, why were you anxious? What were you feeling at that moment? I was feeling horny. OK, but what were you feeling? What else were you thinking about? All right. 
What uh, did you feel in just horny, or did you feel did you feel frustrated as well? You felt oh, I felt frustrated. Okay, and was it all about just sex? Was be honest with me. Did you feel entirely ecstatic, or did you feel something else? Did you feel a sadness? Yes, I felt a sadness. Where did that come from? Okay, I don't know. Maybe my childhood. What happened? What what do what do you think about often? Is there something specific that returns that constantly plays back in your mind? It there, there is. Listen, guys, you have to be honest with yourself. Okay, you have to use it as a tool to find out what that thing is that is hurting you, that's holding you back, and then address that specific thing. All right, and then move away from porn and masturbation. But this whole notion of orgasms, no. We are human beings. We need, at the end of, right now, I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and act like relationships are not hard right now. And that it's, and there's like not a lot of, of uh, danger and, and, you know, involved. But I'm making this clear that at some point you're going to realize that you need sex, okay? You either need it or you're doing something to uh, or you're or you're basically deflecting and like I said the longer you go this is this is the crazy thing about not having sex all right I'm not talking about masturbation I'm talking about sex the crazy thing about not having sex for long periods of time is that your brain the way you think starts to change and you will think that you are rational, but you are not. You know, Mike Tyson, Mike Tyson didn't have sex for five years. Five years. And I remember he said that it was totally stupid. But he didn't have sex for five years. Five years. When he went into the ring, he, was, he wasn't thinking straight. He was angry. He was frustrated, okay? He was, he was all over the place. If you watch a video with Mike Tyson today and watch a video from, the year, from those years ago, he's a completely different person. He's rational, he's career, and he's like articulate, he's intelligent. But back then, he was just like, he looked like somebody who was doped up. And you're like, what? This doesn't make any sense. How can one, how can he go from that to the, what he is today. Oh, well, maybe it's, maybe it's just that, you know, with age, that's nonsense. The truth of the matter is that he was constantly on edge, all right? Constantly on edge. Constantly in fight or flight mode, all right? So I can't give you guys relationship advice. I can't. That's something you have to work on for yourselves. What I can tell you is that you need to, you can use NoFap as a means of freeing yourself, of moving away from pornography and masturbation, but don't use it as a means of cutting yourself off from human interaction or telling yourself that you don't need sex, okay? Because those of you that are, that, that, that are going to down, are downvoting the video, y'all will discover it, all right? And sadly, when it's too late. You know, guys, look at the incels. A lot of the crazy things happening with these people is because they're not having sex. All right? I'm being honest with you. They're not having sex, and they start to entertain the most ridiculous things in the world. And it's not just sex, okay? It's not just sex, but it's also... It's the person that you're having sex with. It's important to have someone have sex with someone that you like, someone that you care for, because then you start your your mind feels at ease. Your body release you you start to release the oxy. You start to you start to think more clearly and more rationally. Okay? You have you you have empathy. Okay? When you are disconnected from that part of yourself for too long, you end up like the incels. The em you stop seeing, you stop having empathy, okay? You, you become completely disconnected from, from your humanity. You become dis disconnected from society. You can become disconnected from everyone around you. You become paranoid. You become obsessive. And ultimately, 
you just it's like you just want people to acknowledge you just to acknowledge your existence okay because a part of you dies on the inside i'm telling you i've lived the life guys i've gone i've done this stuff before where i've gone i don't I, i've gone years without sex all right if you guys remember my original videos like like way 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 back during that time when i was putting out the really angry content i wasn't having sex i'm being honest with you i wasn't having sex all right i would sometimes masturbation would happen on and off and then there were periods of time where it just wouldn't happen at all and all my and all my energy went into just anger and many of you remember that some for you some for a lot of you it was hilarious like you know oh my gosh this is so funny and you're like preach brother preach but at the same time it was destructive i mean guys like i remember i put out a video where it was very insulting and like not too long after i put out that video i got cancer like i mean to say that there was no correlation relationship between my cancer and my anger i don't I, it's hard to believe that especially when i prayed to god and said please if you let me live i'll i'll change and then it would just went and then it disappeared and that is god he gave me and he gave me another chance i really did work on getting rid of that anger so you guys need to understand that no fap is not going to save your life no fap is not going to fix the problems that are happening in your life. If anything, it'll bring it'll just make you more aware of them and it'll bring them to the surface and then you're going to either have to deal with them or what ends up happening is when those when those feelings arrive, people end up slipping back into pornography and masturbation. And it's and it really does suck, okay? Because they can't take the pain, they can't meet it head on. All right? And that's what you and that's the truth that you really need to meet these things head on and you need to address that pain you need to address what it is that is hurting you okay what it is that hurts you that that is causing that that trauma because we all have our stuff we all have it all right this is a hard world this is a really really hard world everyone men women children we all suffer in this world we all suffer in this world in one way or another. The world is not perfect. Okay? It's a it's it's if anything, the world is the world will will beat you down. It will beat you down and then it will keep on hitting you some more. Alright? And the idea of having a perfect world is is a joke. It's those who it's it's the same people who try pushing towards perfection that end up creating a dystopia. A really dystopic environment where no one wants to live but they're like oh we're getting, it's becoming more perfect no it's not it's more miserable than ever all right you need to learn how to express yourselves freely you need to begin to open up you need to you need to you know there's a thing called chakras and you need to learn how to channel that how to channel you know like for for example for me I wake up at 4 a.m. I get ready for the gym. I go to the gym and work out. I'll go and then uh, I'll then after that I might go and do some running. Okay, I usually do running. Usually after the gym, I every after the gym I go to the gym. I work out hard with a trainer and then I go and do running. And. I challenge I channel that energy into into being productive but at the same time I don't I, I am not fooling myself at all you know I saw a comment from someone who said you know I sometimes I joke around about about a bit of grit and I saw a comment from someone who said something along the lines of like you know don't tell me that you're like simping for this girl you know you talk about her in your videos and she doesn't even mention you in any of hers and it was so funny because i i thought to myself you just don't get it you just don't get it it's important to have 
conversations with people and to socialize and to express yourself and to have friends. It is. She's actually a really good friend of mine. One of the better friends I have. And a lot of people, a lot of guys don't get it. They just don't get it. That you need to go out there and you need to find someone. It's, I know it's scary. I know it's scary. I know it's hard, especially in this environment. But the longer you remain, the more you become trapped in your own mind, the more you become, you, you avoid others and avoid connecting with others, the harder it will become to reconnect with others and to even connect with yourself. And when you spend a lot of too much time alone, that's one of the things, problems that can be facilitated with no fap. If you don't do it right, if you don't, if you're, if you're using it to, to, to avoid social situations, to avoid relationships, because there are people, these people who are doing it for three to four years, they're using it to avoid relationships. They're using it to avoid sex because for them, it's so hard. They can't face their issues. So they would rather pour everything into something like NoFap and use it as an excuse for why they're, for, for why they're not, you know, not uh, engaging in sex, why they're not going out and making, you know, having relationships or making new friends. Because, you know, you look at the patterns with a lot of these guys and not only are they not developing new relationships with women, they're not developing new relationships with men. They're not developing new relationships with anyone. They become shut-ins, total shut-ins, what you'd call the hikikamori, all right? That's a Japanese term. These guys basically seldomly leave their rooms, leave their homes, and that's really it. They disconnect from society. And society today is miserable. Okay, but it's not about society, it's about you as an individual and about you putting yourself first, self first and going out there and getting what you want and what you need. I cannot give you relationship advice. I cannot tell you how to be safe in a relationship. I can tell you that America and the Western countries, the culture is very, very different than in other countries. All right. Very, very different. Very, very people are different. Men are different. Women are different. It's very, very different. If you go to, there's a very big difference in culture in Romania versus the United States, okay? Or in Bulgaria versus Great Britain. There's a very, very, very big difference in culture. This doesn't mean everything is peaches and cream. This doesn't mean that there aren't hard things that have, you know, terrible things that also do happen there. Because, for example, Romania was, was actually a country that was under, I forget if it was Soviet, uh, Soviet, Soviet leadership. Uh, com they were under communism. And then when the SSR, S when the Soviet Union fell back in the early 90s, um, in Romania, it also fell in Romania, and a lot of people were starved. A lot of people starved and suffered. But I'm giving you this example because I want you to understand that, like, the culture there, even though there's all this hardship, the culture is still different. The way men and women interact is still different. You go to, you go to other countries, guys, and I'm telling you, you'd be shocked what you see where in the United States, for example, you know, boys and girls are very standoffish. You go to another country... And you'll see boys and girls coming home from school holding hands. I'm taught I am so serious. You will see all over the place boys and girls coming home from school holding hands. And this is something that you would never ever you, you, you just won't see it in the United States. And it's not just one or two, it's 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 everywhere. It's everywhere where there is where there is more empathy, there is more kindness, there's more understanding, and there's much better communication. All right? And it's, 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 a, it's unbelievable. But I'm telling you, it's really there. And it's, uh, it, it, it reflects the difference in culture. It's, I've said this already that when it comes to things such as, you know, like feminism, feminism can only exist in a society where there is abundance or a perception of abundance when that's so when that abundance or perception of abundance is gone suddenly feminism also disappears which is a catalyst for socialism and then communism so you have to be practical about that okay let's just be practical let me see here 
Cryptonomy says I believe that totally. Guys, like I said, you have to check. You have to. You have to travel. Gonna have to travel. You know what you should be doing, as I said, is using NoFap to disengage from porn and masturbation, and then working towards healthy relationships. If you're in a situation where you know you're, you think you're just gonna go absolutely insane because you know if you don't masturbate, then I understand and I can't judge you on that because I'm a guy as well and. These days, especially in the West, getting access to sex is not easy. I'm going to say that because most millennials are not having sex. So I understand that entirely. This is one of the reasons why I keep telling you guys that you need to move. You know, you need to go overseas because things are different. It's so funny, guys. Women in America can get, get so upset. Women in Western countries, they get so upset. All right, because of the culture in the United States, they're like, there's a culture of, uh, of sexism and racism and discrimination and all this other stuff in the, U you know, in the U.S., for example. But the very same women then go to other countries where the culture is very different and the men are more macho. All right. And they, you know, there's no there's, you know, they, they, they basically they're very sexual and they don't have any of these. There's no safe spaces or anything like this. And they fall in love with these guys. Sometimes they even bring these guys back to the U.S. They do it. They do it quite a lot. They end up marrying these guys. And these are guys who exhibit the kinds of behavior that they that they say is, you know, horrible in the U.S. Well, so what gives? It's because there's a different culture and psych and subconsciously. What's happening in the U.S.? Women don't want this. Men don't want this. But it's 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 something that you know the gears have been put into motion for so long that now it's hard to stop it and reverse it. But like I said, that doesn't mean that you should throw your life away or that you should or you should waste all your time thinking that you know you're just gonna. I'm just going to fap or I'm not going to fap or whatever. And that's going to solve my problems. It's not. You got to solve your problems for yourself. If you live somewhere where you're not happy, move. That's why I say go overseas. All right. I'm going to, I'm still working on the course for you guys that that's going to teach you the best countries to go to. And, um, and I'll put that out as soon as I can. Honestly, I'm hope I, I, I would prefer if I, if uh, someone did like a prepay for it, because this way I know at least if, if, as long as I sell like one or two of them, then it wouldn't be way, a waste of my time because it takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of work. So, yeah, I might try to like prepay, like have a pre-sell like a couple of them. This way it's worth me actually finishing it up because it's, take, it's, it's it is taking a lot of work for me to do it. But it'll teach you guys what countries to go to, what countries you can go to where you can basically find uh, find cheap living, you can uh, where where relationships are more easily fostered, and um, and I think you'll genuinely be a lot happier because the world is not just the West. A lot of people seem to think that because that's how we behave, but it's not true. The world is not the West. The world is much much bigger than the West, and the West is just a small part of the world. And I believe that we're going to see more and more of that as time passes on. Right now, it's more important that we focus on ourselves and building out our resources and, you know, ensuring that our bodies and minds are, are healthy and well and wise, you know. What I've actually done is I've also put out a brand new course for you guys because, you know, a lot of you, you want to travel, you want, but you don't have money. OK, you want to do these things, but you don't have money. And what you can. And like I said, the name of the game is crap coins. And when you learn how to master crap coins, you will be able to, it may not be happen overnight, but within a year or two, you end up, you can take $100 and you will accumulate enough money, enough wealth and resources by understanding how to invest, even with $100, and turn that in, into anything from $10,000 to $100,000, all right? You'll say, how the heck is that possible? Because there are many cryptocurrencies that increase by 10,000 times. Thousands of times. You heard me right. 
what I've actually done is I put out a new course for you guys called Master and Crap Coins. And we have the early bird special. It's 129, but what I've done for you guys is we're gonna give you the ultra early bird, which is if you go and you purchase this course uh, anytime within the next three hours of this video, of watching this video, you'll be able to get it for $99.99. So, so if you're watching the video live right now, you've got three hours to go pick it up and you can get it for actually $99.99 which is the ultra early bird special and then three hours is going to go to 129 which is the early bird special and the usual price for this is 199 okay and this course is going to show you the real methods of actually how you're going to actually make that profit all right you're going to learn how to find these coins and you're going to learn how to make massive profit for them okay Okay, you're going to find them dirt cheap and you're gonna turn them, you're gonna turn, and guys, this is a complete, this is using a strategy that it's not discussed in any of my other courses. It's not in any of my other courses and it's not discussed by virtually anyone because most people don't know this strategy. I've yet to see a single person that actually uses this strategy and it's absolutely amazing, okay? All right, when I say dirt cheap, I mean dirt cheap and it's going to teach you how to know which coins have that but which coins are going to go back up it's this is an entire you're actually buying an entire system all right so you get everything you need here like i said if you purchase this course in the next three hours you can get it for 99.99 if you purchase it after three hours then you'll get it for 129 which is the still the early bird special before it goes back to before it goes back to uh nine before it goes back to 199 dollars all right so the entire sale ends in, in actually just 11 hours so but if you act now if you purchase it in the next three hours you'll get it for 99.99 or if you purchase it within the next 11 hours you'll get it for 129.99 and also we have a number of select courses that are also on sale today so uh you know you can pick up how to make massive profits from icos which are big how to blockchain actually works. The course that I've been talking about right now though is Mastering Crap Coins, which will teach you how to find uh, crap coins that will make you massive profit. Again, this method is not, no one knows this method, all right? I've yet to see anyone else, anyone else use this method, okay? And it's amazing, so you're, and you're gonna love it. We have uh, this, we have making, um, make massive profits without taking massive losses. That course goes for 140, and we have that course on sale right now. Don't forget that we have the how to choose and invest in all coins that increase by a hundred thousand times course that course is 300 we also have the strategy you must use to become a crypto millionaire that course is 160 we have convert cryptocurrencies without using an exchange that course is 160 and it basically teaches you how to convert your how to like you know you can get bitcoin and then convert your cryptocurrencies rapidly without having to go and sign up for an exchange and all of that all of that nonsense so that course is very very important that course we actually have on sale right now for for just 99 bucks so yeah, again, that, that ends in the set the sale ends in, in um, 11 hours. So we have how to quickly withdraw your crypto and cash from any ATM and other crypto cash quick conversion methods, how to time the crypto market to make massive profit, how to take profit from cryptocurrency so you don't lose your entire investment. And of course, we have a lot of we have a lot of favorites from from uh, from 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 earlier in the from earlier in the cycle. So we also have how to get tons of valuable cryptocurrency for free without mining or paying for it. What I've done is I've just accumulated tons of free cryptocurrency and when the last time the markets boomed, I just literally had all this free crypto that I never paid a dime for. And it was just, you know, I was making tons of money from it. Like it just, they were just in my wallet. So this, you know, um, what's his name? Tim, Tim's actually been doing this, using this method and he's, he's gotten so many different cryptocurrencies for free. And he's going to be, he's, he's just, st he's, he's stacked. We have mastering Ethereum wallet and blockchain for 160. We have how to choose and invest in all coins that'll increase by 10 times to a thousand times or more. That course is 300. We have how to buy Bitcoins anonymously and through secret methods. A lot of you just, you know, you don't know how to buy Bitcoins because 
If you want to invest in cryptocurrency, you're going to have to buy Bitcoins. And a lot of you are going to end up paying these massive premiums because you don't know how to do that. This course teaches you how to do that without any issues. We also have introduction to day trading crypto for a living, which is great because for those of you that want to generate some additional passive income, you can use this to take, you can take 200, 300 bucks and earn a solid income in uh, trading that on a daily basis, 30, 50, 60 bucks. And that's, that's, that's incredible. I mean, you multiply that over the course of a month if you're doing like 50 bucks a day that's fifteen hundred dollars a month that's fifteen hundred dollars a month just day trading crypto in your spare time if you don't know anything about crypto though and you're watching the video you're like okay well i well i want to get into crypto but i don't know anything i don't even know where to start now you should definitely start with a cryptocurrency 101 course because there is a big learning curve but what i've done with that course is i've actually went in and i've 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 carefully looked at the things that you know beginners have the issues they run into when they're trying to learn crypto when they're trying to get into cryptocurrency and why they give up and i address those issues and i write and i've worked i've created the course in such a way that it helps take you through the uh take take you through those issues you know to how to overcome them and, and explains it in a very human way and there's pl things that i basically also say like places where i'll say listen this is how this works but if you're gonna sit here and try to memorize it then then just skip past just skip this because you don't need to know it it's about understanding how crypto works so you can invest in crypto not not to become you know a crypto master you're not trying to become a pokemon master all right you know and get into the Jodo league you're trying you're learning how it works and you're learn and you're work and you're going to use that to invest that knowledge so that you can invest and make money and better your lives okay because that's what it's about it's investing is about bettering your life it's about living the life you want to live having financial freedom and then using that financial freedom so that you can go where you want to go and do what you want to do and experience so many amazing other things all right guys let me see here so if you want to pick up a course from cryptomoney.academy the links are in the description of the video also guys another very important thing that i strongly suggest you guys do is start a youtube channel i know some of you guys are like what are you crazy angry no okay youtube chat if you i really recommend that many if you start a youtube channel and uh, and use that channel to, and just start building it up building it up, posting things that you, posting your thoughts and so forth, because you can use that channel. You can use that channel, you can build that channel into a business and you don't need tens of thousands of subscribers. You can make an amazingly solid income, an amazing income with a thousand subscribers on YouTube because it doesn't matter how many subscribers you have, it matters how engaged they are, all right? And a thousand very engaged subscribers are better than a hundred thousand uh, just so and so. You know, like, oh yeah, I mean, I'm subscribed, but I don't really care, you know? You want to develop a relationship with people. That's the key. And YouTube actually allows you to do that. And there are so many opportunities to sell products, services, build a business, create a brand when it comes to YouTube, even though there's all this other crazy stuff happening. So I strongly recommend a lot of you start working on creating a YouTube channel. Many of you are going to say, well, I don't even know where to begin. I don't even know what to start. I wouldn't know what to do and how and what kind of business to build, you know, using YouTube. And guys, like, I mean, right now I still make money from AdSense. I make, I make some money. I make money from AdSense just for the videos I put up stuff. And it's great. I actually have a course for you guys, especially those of you that don't know where to get started. We have and this course is um we actually have this on sale right now which is how to earn massive pro uh, passive income on youtube all right and this course i actually put out just put out pretty recently and like i said it is on sale you can get it for 99.99 and you know basically you're gonna learn about creating a youtube channel to earn passive income and has a and has a uh has become and also you're going and all right i'm just review this with you just go through this so in the course you'll learn the fundamentals of creating a youtube channel that will earn you passive income by the end of the course you'll learn how to make money on youtube without making videos you're gonna say what you can make money on youtube without making videos you're gonna learn you're gonna learn advanced keyword and tagging strategies so i'm gonna teach you how to do how to do your tags and keywords and all of that all right 
you're gonna get you're gonna learn how to get a monetized channel fast so how to monetize your channel so that you can start earning money on YouTube all right and even how to and you'll also learn how to earn money without being monetized all right you're gonna learn about the advanced tactics I use to make four thousand dollars a month on YouTube and this is from everything from um, not just in ad revenue in selling products in streaming all of these things and so many more I teach you all of these things in this course and like I said this course goes for 200 bucks and you can pick it up for 99.99 right now while it's on sale okay and you know the best you know the best way to put this and, and also you're gonna learn how to avoid content ID matches so who is this course for it's gonna, this course this course specifically is for people who are tired of their day job and want to generate income online it's for anyone looking for an ex extra source of passive income and who and then also for people who are you know not new to YouTube but are looking to grow their channels as well so this is I mean you're gonna this is this is actually this is a business this 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 is going for $99.99 right now, but it goes for $199. Like I said, this sale is going to end in, in the next 24 hours. And this course teaches you how to build a business on YouTube. All right. This course teaches you how to build a business on YouTube. All right. And then make massive profit. So you can go and pick up the course. It's actually on my on my other site, learn uh, learnme.today. And there's a link to it in the description of the video if you want to take that course. If you want to take a crypto course, you can find them on cryptomoney.academy. And again, the link's description of the videos. Because guys, right now, as you can see, the stock markets, well, there's all kinds of everything, there's so many things happening in the in the in the world right now. All right. And more so they are distractions than anything else. If you can't tell that something big is happening, you know, going to happen or is happening right now, more or less the, you know, the completely complete change in the global financial market, then there's nothing else I can do for you. Like I said, guys, you should be working on yourselves, working on building relationships, not just sitting around thinking that, you know, some, some something called NoFap is going to fix all your problems and change your life and make everything, make all your issues go away. You need to address your issues. You need to face your demons and you need to work on yourself and also work on fostering healthy relationships. And that's just me. You can call me the simp tower if you want. Anyway, guys, let me know if you agree with what I've said, you know, that a lot of guys are doing no fap wrong and it's about doing it the way you want to do it it's about doing what helps you to heal on the inside and helps to foster healthy relationships and helps you to build yourself build your brand build success find passion it's about growing as a person it's not about separating yourself from humanity all right let me know what you think it's about helping helping you to regain your humanity and reconnect with other human beings let me know what you think about what I've said because I've said a lot here. You can find links to everything in the description of the video if you want to pick up any of these courses. Love God, get money, and cheers. That was a very good stream.